few more minutes to spend with uh, with uh, Alan Wood from a Remax Plus in Brighton and Allison Liam Bruno, who is his right hand woman, woman. <laughs> and then some. <laughs> yes. Hey, I, I was curious. I saw the Billy Joel's house is for sale down in the Hamptons. Uh, would you? And I'll ask you this first, Pat, and, and, and jump in here too, Alex. Would you want to buy a house uh, that used to belong to a celebrity? Is there any allure there, do you think? There's an allure there psychologically, but financially, no, because there's a premium attached with that price, typically. So you wouldn't want to live in Billy Joel's house? No, but I would buy Madoff's house. No, his went for premium, too. Never mind. Because <laughs> I also understand... Uh, <laughs> Had hidden uh, money. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Derek Jeter's house is for sale, See, now too. I would buy Derek Jeter's house in a second. <laughs> Why you didn't like it when I wore his jersey last week? Uh, you know what? Because you're t- it's just not the same. But if Derek Jeter, if I knew that Derek Jeter stood in the same kitchen I was standing in, oh dear. If I was that agent, I'd make sure he offered like a uh, evening out with him and his family or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So no, see, I'm not the family. Just, him. just not him. the family. Yeah. Just no, his, wife, if, his wife might not like that if I said left her out. He's so. not married yet, is he? Not yet. No. Oh, I thought he was There's married. There's still hope for us. Yeah. Oh, then a night out with him will you buy the house. Hope. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? Is there? I, I suppose there's a premium on the cost of the house if it's Derek Jeter's condo or Billy Joel. I would say there has to be absolutely. I mean, what do you put a percentage on it? Ten, twenty percent more. Yeah, probably ten percent. I think it's just what the market will bear. What somebody's willing to pay to own that celebrity's house. You know what I mean? It can be a real freaky number, and it can't be. That is true because you know there's people that want to just walk around and say, "Oh yeah, I own the house that Derek Jeter owned." Or, yes. Yeah. Well, the Billy Joel house is at a premium right now. It's in the Hamptons, and apparently it was listed as twenty at twenty two five. Twenty two million and a half. Twenty two and a half million dollars, and it's now down to eighteen mil. Well, Jeter's place is going for twenty million. Oh, Alan, speaking of I'm down, I'm gonna go see that next week. No, okay. <laughs> well, no, that's her job. I just looked up something I wanted to bring up today, Alan. You've got a listing over in Menden, a Honeyoy Falls school district. Very contemporary, or very modern house. Yes, it is. It's down about 150 large. I just saw it Monday night. I was goofing around looking for something for myself. Yes, we just reduced it to actually a hundred thousand, and it's a really unique house. It's a contemporary. It's all open, beautiful views, uh, 32 acres, about. Approximately, there's actually a go kart track on it yes. too, and a oh golf course, course, and a basketball course, course. And a basketball court huh? in there. Not exactly I mean, a uh, fixer upper, I no, take it. It's a fantastic house. I just, I mean, we just need to find the right buyer. Yeah, it might be me if I can find seven hundred grand. Right? Is it about seven? <laughs> it's seven fifty. Yes. Okay. But bring us an offer. <laughs> I think that's kind of a benefit, maybe, of buying a celebrity's home or a home like that, because when a celebrity buys a house, they customize it. They customize it for what they, what their particular tastes are, because they just have so much money, and, and they can do that. So when you buy a celebrity's house, you're not just getting, you know, the, the house down the street. You're getting it customized for a specific, you know, whatever. I mean, some sports athletes have like basketball courts inside the house or swimming pools mm-hmm. or you know mm-hmm. so i think maybe that's some of the draw too like you might have you know the room where jeter worked out in so i'd know? have to buy Shaq's home because his bed i hear is like a, <laughs> a entire room it'll fit right. you <laughs> <laughs> it'll fit you <laughs> well this this uh, this uh, billy joel house has a 150 foot beachfront Ooh. And uh, you know, I can just imagine. I can just imagine what these. And, and you know, it's funny, Alex. You mentioned, say, an athlete. They have these elaborate kitchens, and they probably never go into the kitchen. Yeah, no, they yeah, probably have no. people cooking. And, and <laughs> most of them probably have two or three other houses, so it's probably got to be in great shape. And you would think, though, for eighteen point five million, you'd get more than one hundred and fifty feet. Yeah. I mean, I'd think you'd get 500 feet or something, but I guess not in the Hamptons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the house is enormous. I don't know. Did it say the house, how big the house was or no? Yeah, does it say the uh, square footage? It says here that, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Nate Burkus is the designer. You know who he is. Yes. Oprah's guy. Yep. Oh. Uh, it looks like... <laughs> just wander down to the beach. No. Uh, huge kitchen. It doesn't like say how big 10, the house 10,000 feet no. or something or 15. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. Hey, you ever see Tiger yeah. Woods? Oh, yeah. House in Florida? Oh, yeah. yeah. If you could have anything in your house, if you could have any, if money was no limit, if the sky was a limit, what's the one feature you'd have to have in your dream house? Uh, four naked girls between 22 and 30. <laughs> what? A urinal. <laughs> a urinal. <laughs> we just talked about that last week, having a urinal in your bathroom. Yeah, I hilarious. said, if I ever build a house, I'm putting a urinal in it. Yeah. It can be in a little closet. I don't care. But I'm sick of sitting and pushing that seat up and trying to aim that well. And yeah, See, now that got yeah. Allison off her seat in a second. <laughs> <She here. jumped. laughs> what do you want in your she dream? She had something in mind for her house. <laughs> what do you want in your dream house other than uh, other than Allen? <laughs> He would have his own separate bathroom altogether. 
Um, I think kitchens. I think kitchens are probably girls, you know, tend to want this lavish kitchen with the amazing stove and refrigerator. And mm-hmm. think, you would really yeah. want an indoor beach, and you know it. Oh, an indoor beach. <laughs> Good thinking. Yeah, an indoor mm, beach. That's great. That? Can you do that? Uh, if you have enough money, you could. I bet you could figure it out, yeah. yeah. See, I want the biggest, I, I want I want a sound system throughout the house, and I want a beautiful uh, theater with the biggest cool. TV in the world and just sit there. And, That's cool. You know? Mm-hmm. But, I like that, too. I mean, we have, like, your own Oktoberfest in your absolute, house. Absolutely. Oh, gosh. <laughs> wait to see the size of the fridge. <laughs> but we're dreaming. Uh, you know, another hot area, I don't know if anyone here is an Oprah fan. Show of hands, Oprah? Yeah. My hands up. Yeah. No, sorry. I haven't seen an episode of Did Oprah in like five years. Well, she was yeah. just in Australia. Yeah. And now everybody wants to go to Australia. Of course, oh, of she course. brought like three hundred fifty. Yeah. Well, why would they the want to do that? Effect. Did you see her in her moo moo last week on the op- on, on the uh, Australia? <laughs> yeah. She, I, my wife said, "Hey, check out Oprah." She says, <laughs> "But here's the thing: there Look at is who dressed her. Yeah. There is such a thing as the Oprah effect. They actually are teaching um, courses on this at colleges about mm. how if if you have an idea, a really great idea, or if you're if you're good at something, and you you two as a team, this Remax team goes on Oprah, yeah. you will make more money than you know what to do with because. Because Oprah says, these are the two best people in real estate. And everybody goes, these are the two best people in real estate. This well, is the guy I want to well, buy and sell my house. She did it with Dr. Phil. She did She's it with, done uh, it with people uh, yeah. who have written books that weren't true. Yeah. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? And the yeah. book went on to sell 45 million copies. And all of a sudden, the guy comes out and says, no, none of that in that book was true. But She's I got on Oprah. God. I'll have to yeah. see if we yeah. can sneak on and say, as seen in Oprah on our marketing yes. materials. Yeah. Yes. All you have to do is find oh, some yes. person named Oprah. Doesn't Oprah's have to be club. the Oprah. Yeah, I'm going to do that with Property Source Radio. Put that on my Facebook page. Huh? Endorsed by Endorsed Oprah. Endorsed by Oprah, right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> after you just Smart. slammed her, that ought to work well. Yeah. Uh, uh, but after her little trip to Australia, uh, everybody's saying, i got to go to Australia. A lot of people saying maybe I'd like to live there. Property prices aren't that bad there. I mean, you can get a, uh, I was looking it up, you can get a nice condo on the beachfront for less than two hundred grand. That's pretty nice. Wow, that's nice. You know, I mean, it's a, the commute home to work is a little much, but it's a, you know, it, it looked beautiful and everything about Oprah's trip to Australia. I see, I'm an Oprah fan. Yeah. Did she go to Australia because of all the flooding? Is that what? The no, whole... no. She uh, the first show of the season. You know, this is her last year. I can't believe I'm an Oprah expert. <laughs> <laughs> but it's only because I watch it every day with my wife. Uh, she had her some of her favorite viewers. You know, like the viewers club in, and yeah. she said, "I'm going to take you all to Australia." Wow. She gave 300 listeners uh, trips to Australia, hmm. and this is before the flooding. Okay. And they went and they did a whole week's worth of shows, and the shows were great. If you're an Oprah fan, you know. Uh, and then the flooding hit in Australia. She did a little piece on the flooding, but it had nothing to do with uh, the reason why she went. She just went oh. because she'd heard it was a great place. She'd never been. John Travolta was involved because, you know, he's a pilot, and it was just, uh, mm-hmm. it was Very really good. something. You know, I, I, I kind of like Oprah, and I like her more than ever this year because well, she's doing a lot of good things. Well, you're yeah. going to like her a lot because she's going to drive your new condo up in Australia right yeah. through the roof. <laughs> no doubt, because, you know, I bumped into someone, and she said, you know, I want to go to Australia now because Oprah's there. And I said, you and everybody else, <laughs> mm-hmm. for right. crying out loud. You know what I mean? Because it's, it is, it's the Oprah effect. They don't yeah. want to go there because the Great Barrier Reef's there, but they want right. to go for Oprah. They want to yeah. go for Oprah. I want to go where Oprah <laughs> went. Yeah, yeah. You know, which restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, one more time. We'll give you uh, Alan's uh, website. Uh, not only is his uh, involvement with Remax Plus in Brighton, which is the reason why you're here. Yes, that is. And uh, that's our office in Brighton, if anyone's interested. Remax Plus, we could great agents. We have over 70 agents. Feel free to call the office, or you can call our team. And give us the phone number. Uh, phone number is 279-8200 for the office, and uh, my website's alanwoodteam.com. 279-8200. All right. Allison, do you ever answer the phone? <laughs> Always. Oh. What's your favorite uh-huh. part of the job, Allison? <laughs> Favorite? Just being with Alan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. I thought you were going to say, okay. Friday at 5 o'clock. Put her in yeah. for a raise. Yeah. And the, Happy ugly, hour. the two ugly disco events coming up. Yeah, this is a quick recap. February 26th is the ugly disco at the convention center, and July 24th is the 10 ugly men. Okay. If, if you want to hang out with a great team, and they are truly a team, and if, if you've been listening to the show today, they're two great people, uh, check in with the uh, operation at uh, REMAX Plus in Brighton. Where's the office? 
Because I live in Brighton. Actually, 2171 Monroe. We're be t- next to Cook's World. Everyone knows oh, yeah. where that is. Oh, right 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 near the new there. Chinese restaurant. Yes, yes, the new Chinese Have restaurant. Have you been in there yet? What's it called? Uh, I don't even know the you name used to be, of it. Remember the House of Poon? <laughs> I went yeah. in once and took it to go, but that was it. Burned down a couple of Christmas Eves ago. Yes, it and did. And it's, it's reopened now. And then we got to look oh. at that uh, fire thing for like two yeah. years. Of course. <laughs> Out there. Yeah. So you're right next to the, uh, new, the new Chinese restaurant. Yes. Which is, you know, and it's always great. Anytime you mention a restaurant in Rochester, you always identify it as... The place that used to be. Yes. Right. And then Everybody does. Exactly. No worries. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Any other thoughts? We have a couple of minutes here to kill. Yeah. Uh, you want some ribs? Oh, we, we ribs some are awesome. I love ribs. Ribs from Alex's place here, if you want to. They're in the green room. Yeah. Al, uh, Alan, what's your favorite part of your job? Do you have, I mean, you've been doing this for quite a while. 20- I, I actually just love dealing with people and, and seeing them happy at the end because, uh, you know, I'll see people two years later and they love their house. Uh, they're just really enamored by it. And uh, just that feeling is really a nice feeling. And so uh, when you see them and I invite them to my client mm. parties we have every year, um, it's just nice to see all of them again. You have an annual client party? Yes, I do. You want to sell party. me that house over in uh, Honey Falls there, Menden, and I'll be a client. That's too, right? it. You can come every year. We have different things, bowling, <laughs> movies. This year, I think I'm going to do it at, uh, at Camp Arrowhead and have some, cool. their families can come climb mountains or whatever so you, you get want. it. You get, that's great. That's great. What other yeah. perks do you offer for your clients? Uh, actually, we do the client parties, but I'm tr- I might be getting into a movie every quarter. Oh, and so it's something new. I'm talking with uh, the Pittsford Cinema about. So, oh, nice. We'll see if that takes off. But uh, try and keep that. Keep in touch with them. And whenever they refer us people, of course, we send them a nice gift. Great. Very Great. good. Smell. Would you rather sell a house or buy a house for someone? I would much rather sell it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why Allison, Allison likes working with the buyers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they take a lot more time, and uh, she's mm-hmm. great with them. Yeah. Want to get in one more jab here, Allison? You have a, your last chance to. Uh, Do you know? I'll tell to you. Set the record straight, yeah. this, Allison. Have you ever had anybody that sprayed hair on their head and then got in your car? I had that when I was a real estate agent. <laughs> Never got another buyer in my car again, ever. Okay, Swear I know I'm almost bald, but it's not that crazy. <laughs> Did you spray I it with that? I've never experienced that. You I've don't experienced wanna. a lot of things, but not that. I had a real, I, my favorite car in the world was a ni- an Infiniti um, back in 1997. And it was it was a white, pearl white with a white headliner oh, and white no. seats. And this guy got in and bopped the top of the, I was mad till I got rid of that car. Was he embarrassed? Yeah. He didn't even acknowledge that he did it, but I knew he was in, and I knew. <laughs> so you it, pretended like it didn't happen. It's spray, yeah, exactly. And I knew it the next day. I, you know, so it's just a little little tw- quirk about the business, if you will. You know, <laughs> you never know. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, you Pat. Never know. Thank you. Yep. Great to have you guys here, and now uh, we'll be looking forward to the uh, the ugly disco coming up on February twenty sixth, and then summertime if it ever gets here. The uh, the big event with the, the ten ugly men. Guys, thanks for joining us. It was a lot of fun today. Yes. Hope you had a good time. Thank you very much. You've, Thanks, Jeff. You've earned a uh, invitation back sometime. Well, thank you very much. We'd love to be back. Thank you very much. ESPN Radio coming up. We will. Oh, don't forget if you're uh, if you're uh, out today on the West Side, that's where the new Property Source newspaper is. You can check it out at the Grease Ridge Mall wallboard, and of course the uh, uh, tops on the West Side. So the new edition is out. Nice picture of Pat in there. If you dig enough, you'll find it. We're going to make way for ESPN Radio. See you next Saturday. Thanks for joining us on Property Source Radio here at Sports Radio 950 ESPN.